Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I call this regularly scheduled meeting of the Ways and Means Committee. I am Abdi Wasami, the chair of the committee, and with me today are Council Members Cunningham, uh, Johnson, uh, Palmasano, Council Vice President Jenkins, and we have uh, we have a quorum and are able to take up considerations of our business today. On our consent agenda, we will start with the consent agenda. We have 27 items, and I will start reading them off. Item number two is a legal settlement, Andre Agi versus City of Minneapolis et al. Item number three is a contract with Cornerstone Advocacy Services to provide dedicated advocacy work for victims of domestic violence. Item number four is a contract amendment with Messenger Construction Company, Inc. for contract closeout. Item number five is a contract amendment with Albridge Sign Company for contract closeout. Item number six is a one-time funds transfer from the City Coordinate Office to the Community Planning and Economic Development Department, CPED, for an Energy Technical Assistance Program, ETAP. Item number seven is an Energy and Regulatory Policy Staff Position Grant Application. Item number eight is a contract amendment with Industrial Hygiene Services Corporation for General Hygiene and Testing Services. Item number nine is a contract with Professional Service Industries, Inc. for vibration monitoring services for the public service building project. Item number 10 is an amendment to the Joint Powers Agreement with the Minnesota Department of Public Safety, Bureau of Criminal Apprehensions for participation of the state's Human Trafficking Task Force. Item number 11 is a Minneapolis Foundation Environmental Legacy Fund grant for the Minneapolis Solar Energy Green Business Initiative. Item number 12 is a gift acceptance from Kelly Duran to supply Minneapolis 911 response officers with Narcan. Item number 13 is a contract amendment with SMG to correct the hourly rate for 911 dispatchers. Item number 14 is a contract with the University of Minnesota Veterinary Medical Center for Police Canine Health Services. Item number 15 is a bid for 14th Avenue uh, South Sanitary Sewer Replacement Project. Item number 16 is 37th Avenue Northeast Street Resurfacing Project Approval and Assessment. Item number 17 is a contract amendment with Rice Lake Constructions Group for Fridley Softening Plant Recarbonate, Recarbonation Improvements Project. Item number 18 is a 2018 Concrete Street Rehabilitation Wake Park Neighborhood Project Approval and Assessment. Item number 19 is a contract amendment with Bolton and Menk Inc. For additional professional services for the 4th Street Reconstruction Project. Item number 20 is a sewer service line repair assessment cancellation for 1915 Taumegi Avenue Southeast. Item number 21 is a bid for 2018 Minneapolis squad car upfitting kits. Item number 23 is a railroad agreement with Minnesota Commercial Railway for the Mid-City Industrial Reconstruction Project. Item number 24 is a grant from the state, state of Minnesota for renovation of PV Plaza. Item number 25 is a contract amendment with Alliant Engineering Inc. for additional professional services for the 8th Street South Street uh, Reconstruction Project. Item number 26 is 44th and Penn Avenue North Redevelopment Plan. Item number 27 is an application for grant funding for the 2018 Metropolitan Council Livable Communities demonstration account and livable community demonstration account transit oriented development grants round and item number 28 is a supplement award and bond issuance for hook and ladder apartments project 2318 jefferson street northeast and 640 24th avenue northeast i will move all those items for approval any discussion from my colleagues or any comments okay Seeing none, all in approval of the consent agenda say aye. 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 All those opposed say no. Uh, these items are approved. And now moving to our public hearing for today, we have the Civil Service Commission appointments. So we have a Civil Service Commission appointments. And let me read the background on what the Civil Service Commission is. The Civil Service Commission was established and authorized to make amend or repeal rules in order to promote sound human resource administrative practices, to promote efficiency in the city services, and to carry out its charter responsibilities. 
The Civil Service Commission is comprised of three commissioners, each serving a term of three years. And before us, we have uh, item number one of our public hearings, considering the reappointment by the Executive Committee of Christine Seward, C2, for a three-year term beginning March 1st, 2018 and ending February 28, 2021. And number two is considering the reappointment by the Executive Committee of Macy Wheeler for seat number three on the commission for a three-year term beginning March 1st, 2017. So I think that was ret retroactivated and ending February 28, 2020. And uh, I will open, I will now open the public hearing. Is there anyone here wishing to speak to this topic today? Anyone? Anyone? See no person wishing to speak. I will close the public hearing and move these items for approval. Any discussions on these items from my colleagues? Seeing none, all those in approval say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. The item is approved. And uh, having concluded the business on our agenda for today, um, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.